Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 10 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement Botman chatbot in Laravel 10. So without further talking let's start and let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or we can use an existing Laravel project as well. So if you have Laravel globally installed you can simply uh, use this command and if you don't have Laravel globally installed you can simply use this command. So uh, in this in both the cases Botman is going to be your project name. So in order to save some time I have already created this project right here you can see on the sublime side and let's move to git bash and right here you can see as well okay. So it's totally up to you if you want to use a fresh Laravel project or you use an existing one it's totally your choice okay. So yeah let's move to step number two which says that we need to create uh, uh, actually we need to install botman and I we can simply use this command so I'm just going to copy it let's move to git bash and let's just paste it right here okay. So this command is going to take some time for the execution so I'm just going to pause the video. Okay guys, so we have successfully installed uh, the botman right here you can see. Okay, so now let's move to step number three which says that we need to install botman driver. So we can simply use this command. Let's just copy it. Let's move to git bash and let's just paste it. Once again, I'm going to pause the video to save some time. Okay guys, so the third command ran successfully. So now let's move to step number four which says that we need to configure the cache inside config botman config.php. So let's just copy this code and let's move to sublime in this case. Okay, let's move to config and I'm just going to right click and create a new folder with the name botman as advised in the notepad. So now let's create a new file inside this botman folder. So new file, paste everything save it with the name config.php so it contains actually the cache timing conversation timing etc so now let's move to uh, notepad once again step number five which says that we need to put the below code in the web.php so once again sublime botman folder i'm going to create a new file let's paste everything and let's name it web.php okay so yeah let me just cross check. Yeah, successfully done. Okay, let's move to step number six, which says that we need to create a controller for Botman. Okay, so copy. Let's move to git bash, sorry, and paste it right here. Hit enter. Meanwhile, I'm going to close these files. Okay, so controller is created successfully. Let's move to step number seven, which says that we need to create a route. So let's just copy this one. Okay, let's move to sublime web.php just like that and paste it right here. notepad file one the, once again step number eight replace the welcome blade html so let's just copy this html basic html for chatbot let's move to sublime resources views so actually we can't have two welcome files at the same time so uh, i think you can delete it or you can rename it so i'm just going to rename it just in case if i need it uh, later so yeah so i'm going to name it wel.blade.php now let's create a new file inside this view new file paste everything we have and let's name it welcome.blade.php okay now it's done let's move to notepad step number nine paste the below code in botman controller and that's about it so let's just copy everything let's move to sublime botman controller Control A to call, uh, let's say, select everything and just paste everything right here. Okay, so it's done. Now let's first run it, test it, and then we can see what's going on. PHP artisan serve hyphen hyphen port 8080. Okay, let's move to Firefox. Let's access our project. So now you can see we are accessing our Botman welcome blade right here. Okay, which is replaced by welcome. Okay, actually, the we have named it the same but actually this is related to botman if you should see the styling so now let's see what what's going on so guys whenever we are hitting this welcome blade we are accessing this specific route why let me show you if we try to access this let's see what happens okay so let's go here botman Okay, so now you can see an empty page. So actually at the back end what's going on whenever we are going to hit our welcome blade or home uh, route, we are actually hitting this specific uh, blade using because it is defined at the back end. So we don't have, let's say, 
you don't have to go in those detail but i'm just telling you that whenever you are going to hit this route home blade or welcome blade route you are going to hit this botman uh, controller method handle so let's move to uh, actually when you go to botman controller you won't be able to see anything that is returning the view see so everything is going at the back end okay so yeah just be with me and we are going to discuss each and every step in detail so whenever we are accessing route uh, uh, home blade uh, sorry home page route or welcome blade route we are actually ha hitting this route because this is mapped with this at the backend okay so now let's move to our welcome blade what's going on so we are creating a botman widget about text is start the conversation with hi welcome to all about laravel so let's see this in action so let's just open this and right here you can see botman widget welcome to all about laravel and here is the text that you can see here start the conversation with hi okay so yeah now whenever we are hitting this route welcome route what's going on we are actually hitting botman controller method hand so let's move there okay so once we are here we are creating a botman okay botman can hear it can say it can ask questions it can reply there are many options and it's a huge scope okay trust me you can do a lot of stuff okay so i'm this i'm saying botman should hear a message from the client or the user i am defining a closure function i'm passing the botman and the message whatever user is typing we are going to get it in the message variable then i'm checking if message is equals to equals to high what botman should do is is botman is going to ask a question actually by using this ask name which is a method right here you can see okay so it is going to ask a question else it is going to reply start a conversation by saying hi so let's try try it out so let me type just test hit enter and you can see start a conversation by saying hi okay and botman listen so actually whenever you say here's it is going to listen to whatever user is saying actually the typing okay so now uh, we have understand uh, understood this part now let's move to ask name so once we have something from the user input and uh, that is equals to this botman is going to ask a question botman ask once again here we were trying to hear and now it's going to ask a question hello what is your name closure function once again and we are going to save the answer right here and actually we are asking about the name so i am creating a new variable dollar name and i'm saving that answer that we got from right here okay and we are going to display it in the next line this say nice to meet you as i said there are many options here's ask reply say and this is actually in line conversation that we are going to see, discuss in this video okay so now let's test it out okay let's do a refresh right here open it let's type uh, let's say if uh, let's try it straightforward first so hi hello what's your name so let me define my name enter nice to meet you Tosif. okay now let me show you one more thing so this was a straightforward method we are saying hi reaching this part and it is displaying everything as discussed okay so now what if i say just let's say test okay it is going to prompt me start a conversation by saying hi what if i say hi like this h capital and i small okay so see start a conversation by saying hi so how can you tackle these type of issue you can simply uh this is well uh, like, let's say this is first approach you can try if you have in mind any other approach you can try that as well so we can simply use this as well okay so i'm just going to copy it paste it again again because i'm going to say hello okay and i am want to look for this one as well with h capital hello and this one with h capital okay so now let's test this out once again to see if we have fixed this part okay there are there can be many issues what you need to do is you need to dig deep that's about it so with h capital okay and i think there is a mistake yeah right here sorry for that let's save it control f5 once again let's test it so h capital hi okay hello what's your name so it's working fine now now let's move to let's say if i want to ask another question okay and this approach is going to be inline conversation so okay so in that case what you need to do is define a conversation right here so conversation i'm not making it a 
from myself okay it's in the documentation just keep that in mind okay guys okay now if uh, once i have the name nice to meet you with the name now i can simply ask another question so conversation ask and let's say can you advise about your email okay and once again closure function so function and answer okay dollar answer and once again if i want to ask another question inside this question i can simply do dollar conversation okay but there is a better way to do it as well i will show you in the docs okay okay once we are going to ask about the email we need to get that so dollar email i'm going to save it in this email okay and what are we going to save answer and email okay just like that and sorry not answer email but answer get text okay once we have that we can simply display that dollar this say email i'm just going to print the email so with the email dollar email okay correct me if i'm wrong just like that now let's test it out uh, till email so let's do a refresh once again now i'm going to go straight forward uh, as i said this is just an approach so that you can understand how can you work with portman widget i'm not going to discuss each and everything but if you see any issue and you have a fix for that or let's say if you have another approach for that you can try it out okay so let's try this time hello okay and what's your name? So Tosif is my name. Okay, nice to meet you. Can you advise about your email? Tosif at gmail.com. Enter email and we didn't put the email. So actually email answer email. Yeah, I didn't concatenate it. Sorry for that guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I put the comma instead. Sorry. So let's try test it out. Okay, so hi name email test email actually okay and this is my email now if you want as i said if you want to ask another question you can simply copy this okay and actually here you can paste it okay but now you can see you are losing the readability okay so that's why we have a separate uh, functions for that you need to create a separate class for that but if you have three or four question it's okay but you can see we are losing the readability okay so conversation asked now i have the email i just want to confirm this email uh, confirm if the above email is correct you can simply reply with yes or no just like that okay so this time we are going to receive a confirmation in yes or no so confirm email answer and in this case uh, the answer is not like uh, really helpful so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to print a message based on if okay and let's paste it let's align our code okay so if i'm going to remove everything and let's say if dollar answer equals to equals to yes or or dollar answer equals to equals to with y capital yes you what you need to do is you need to simply say dollar this say we have got your details okay see a lot of stuff is going on so i hope you are guys you guys are getting it nobody will actually show you until uh, until or unless it's the documentation so let's test it out once again hi so i think we are not able to proceed because there is some error so confirm email let me just see where is the error answer answer just give me a minute or so so i can save some time of the video i will advise you what's what's going on okay guys so i got the issue actually i'm missing a semicolon right here i hope you guys got it okay because you were seeing and i was actually busy coding okay so yeah let's do a refresh once again let's test it out okay let's do hi once again hi so what's your name that's it 
email proceed at gmail.com okay and then confirm if the above email is correct you can simply reply with yes or no so yes and we have got your details so yeah guys that's it okay so that's how you can play with it but if you have too many questions the better way would be let me show you so let's visit the documentation so botman.io okay so right here you can view the documentation so let's move see it have many options reply ask but you need to dig deep in the documentation so let's say if i want to have a conversation like detailed conversation you can simply use conversation check the conversation related tasks see right here so in these cases you will have a separate class which will start a conversation and in that class you can have variables you can have multiple function for the first name email etc and run this will call this will be called immediately so there is a lot of stuff that you can let's say use in your projects okay and one more thing uh, that is really useful you can also access the video course for the botman actually uh, uh, chatbot botman chatbot is based on php okay not the framework but the basic one but we have to a way to implement it in laravel as well so right here you can see the video tutorials according to each conversation so here is inline conversation okay that we are using okay and we have conversation classes for detailed conversation as well so yeah guys uh, that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care